is Real Talk. For years, the beauty standard that has been promoted across different cultures, not just in Africa, in the East, in Asia, and also in the Western world, is that the lighter your skin, the whiter you are, the more fair you are, the more beautiful you are. Yet, still today, thanks to different conversations in different spaces, we are seeing more ebony girls and brown-skinned girls being promoted and celebrated just for being themselves. But still, we live in an age where there are still some people who embrace the notion that beauty is skin deep. Well, today on the show, my guest will be sharing with us why they are still taking measures to lighten their skin. Welcome to the show. Yeah. What, what was the original color? Were you dark? Me si juu. Ime na. Me si juu. No, na juu hii ni vita ambayo imepigwa miaka mingi akomba. Anything black is ugly. Black book okay cause yao. Na iko black list you are black listed. Everyone is pretty in their own way. So you should just appreciate everyone the way they are. Ni ni si jafanya mpenzi wangu bebe. Thanks for tuning in. Please let me know what your comments are on today's topic. We are talking about skin bleaching. My guests are saying I am not my skin. So my first guest is Amy Wamboy. So Amy believes that for her, the fairer she is, the more beautiful she feels. Amy, welcome to Real Talk. Thank you. So obviously, isn't she a beautiful woman? Thank you. Yeah, like yeah. Everyone, everyone is just looking at you like a doll. Thank but you. the truth is that you were not born into this skin. No. So tell me about yourself. Well, I was born fairer, a bit darker, maybe a complexion. And growing up, I was uh, in my family, I was actually the only dark person. Everybody else was lighter. So, so you some... had sisters and brothers, brothers who were lighter than you? Brothers, my mom, my brothers are lighter. So it's something that I've always envied, you know, something I've always wanted to do to have a lighter shade. So I did my research and it took time, a lot of time. And finally I got the product that I need and here I am and so I'm happy. When you say that you always envied the fairer skinned or lighter skinned members of your family, why is that? It's, it's to me it was very attractive. I used to look at my mom and it's something I said, well, I wish I had skin like hers, you know? And now that you can buy uh, products to make you lighter, then I went for it. Did you feel that maybe because you were darker than your mom, you didn't get compliments growing no, no, up? No, I, I got compliments. I did this for me. Yeah, for me. Because I, when the more I used the product, the more confident I became. It made me feel, feel more beautiful. But why were you uncomfortable initially in your skin? I was not uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to emphasize my beauty. I felt if I, if I was lighter, I look more beautiful. I feel more confident, in which is the case here. I, when I walk, I feel amazing. When I look at myself in the mirror, I love what I see. Okay, so just to understand what you look like before mm -hmm. versus what you look like now, yes. so let's take a look. Yes. So that is you before. Yes. Literally <laughs> almost the same complexion that I am. Mm -hmm. And that is you after. Right. So if I'm now looking at your before and after pictures, how long did it take you now to get the results on the right, which is the after? Well, it took quite some time because good products take time. You can't rush them, you know. It took nearly a year. So for a full year, yeah. you were working on your but skin. But in the six months, you'll see a difference. But I, I always urge my, my friends or people who want to do this, to always make sure the products they get is something kind to the skin. So a product that will make, it, you know, as human beings, we like quick results, which is not the case. If you want quick results, you get bad products. Good quality products take time. And so walk me through now once you made up your mind and you said it took you a whole year. So what sort yeah. of products were you using? Were you taking tablets? Were you applying stuff on your skin? What was the process? I started with uh, glutathione pills. And then it became too expensive for me. So I decided, let me, because I travel a lot. So I went to France and got really good products uh, from both France and Ivory Coast for skin lightening, the cream, that is what I'm currently using. And so far it's very good for me. 
I can choose how light I want to become. In fact, when I started, I started because I wanted to tone my body. As you can see in those pictures, my, my neck was not the same um, color with my, my legs. So I wanted to tone. And the moment I started toning, I liked how I looked. I, I felt this color is nice on me. So it's, I don't want to go very light. So I just want to have medium. So with the cream, you get to choose how light you want to be. Do you want to tone? Do you want to be very light? Do you want to be medium? So that's up to you. So t talk me through the process because I can imagine like when I go down to the coast and I come back, usually my skin will peel. <laughs> I'm itchy for a bit, you know? Yeah. So what's that like? Because literally does your old skin then have to peel off or it stays on and it's worked on from the inside? What happens? It depends. Different people have different skin. Uh -huh. Personally, my hands were peeling at first when I, when I started. Excuse me. Excuse me. So that's now the top layer of your skin. Yes. The one that has too much melanin. Yes, but not, not really. Because remember, the product I'm using takes time. You know, when you use good products, it gives you, it gives your skin time. Because the moment you start rushing your skin, um, it ages faster. That's how you find some people have patches or you start having breakouts. So it's something you need to I insist on research. Before you embark on this journey, you need to do a lot of research, get really good products that work for you. See Mumbai River Road. Because <laughs> you went to France. Yes, I went to France. And again, I insist, I really insist on the research and good quality products. Uh, for the people who want more information, I can always give one or two ideas. But um, I like the fact that my friends have been there for me. You know, because um, they like the me inside, not the colored me, whether I'm light skinned or dark skinned. And I'm glad you brought that up because mm -hmm. if you looked at your life before, mm -hmm. when you were a brown skinned girl, mm -hmm. and now we can call her milk skinned girl. <laughs> <laughs> and now that you're fairer and lighter and you're mm -hmm. a light skinned girl. So what's the difference? Do, do people treat you differently? No, no, no. And all. attention from the opposite gender, has that changed? Uh, I think it has. In what way? I think it has. Because when you enter a room, you know, it's like the way you're wearing your yellow jacket. It, it pops. You know, but that's not why I did it. I did it for me, remember. At first, I wanted to tone my body to one color. You know, some, as you said, sometimes you go to the beach, you come, you, you have, you've turned. So I wanted to make sure that my color, my body color is toned. And that the more I used my product, the more I became lighter. Of course, it's time. And I liked how I looked, yeah? Have you found people who perhaps don't agree with the choice that you yes, made? Yes, In fact, most of my friends are dark skinned, but they are, we're okay with that because I choose to be who I am today. How I look is my choice. Are you a parent? No. So in future, when you have a daughter mm -hmm. and she is born into your skin color, mm -hmm. so that's the brown skin like mine. Mm -hmm. So, and she's looking at mommy, the same way you're saying, you looked at your own mother and mm -hmm. because you felt that she's lighter, she's more beautiful, I want that. So have you thought about perhaps how you will navigate that now with your own child? Well, I have, because if today I decide to get a baby, the baby will come in my natural brown color. And I will have to tell my child exactly what has transpired and let them choose if they want to maintain their color. It does not mean dark skin is not beautiful. It's, it's actually, it's beautiful. It's just the same way why we wear, you know, makeup. It's just to enhance the beauty. That's why I decided to go brighter than darker. And you said that you did quite a bit of research because still, even despite the research, mm -hmm. if you look at the information that's coming out at the forefront, because you know that the whole skin whitening, skin lightening business, it's a billion dollar industry globally. Mm -hmm. And it's not just Africans who do it. We have Asians who do it mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. So if you look at all that and still there are concerns that whatever you're doing to yourself and because you're doing it internally, you're using chemicals, it could later on come cause cancer, damage your liver, damage your kidney. So how does that make you feel? Because I understand that this is something that you have made a choice to consistently keep doing just to maintain that color. Mm -hmm. Well, 
it's something, it's part of the research. You need to know what you're getting yourself into. So you're willing to take the risk, that's what you're telling us. Well, that's what I'm saying. It depends on what product you use. Because there are products that you use which are going to kill your kidney or are going to have more side effects than others. So I still insist on research because what works for me is not what will work for you. So, yeah. Okay. So right now, I want to introduce my next guest, who is Esther Wamboy Kinuthia. So Esther as well says that she made the choice to lighten her skin because she wanted to become more beautiful. Please help me welcome Esther. So Esther, welcome to Real Talk. So Esther, you are 39 years old. And for how many years have you been bleaching your skin? For the last six years. For the last six years. Yes. So what prompted you now to start bleaching your skin at 33 years? At 33 years, because I, I remember that time, I used to club uh, with my best friend who is light-skinned. And every time we walked in somewhere, people would look at her and admire her. And then I thought, maybe I can change my color to look like her. So, That's why I started the journey of changing my color. And how long did it take you now to achieve this skin color? Yeah, uh, it took me about eight months. Eight months? And yeah. what was your process? I started with glutathione pills, uh, which takes time to give you the color because it's natural product. So those are ingestibles? No, those are pills, capsules. That you ingest, yes. Yeah, you take orally, not injectables. Okay, yeah. and uh, probably during that process, because Amy told us that for her at some point, uh, she was feeling that it's, it's almost like with a snake, huh? before, it's, before it gets its new skin, you have to shed off the old one. Was that the same for you? No, it didn't happen that way to me. Um, mine came dead slowly, gradually, gradually, until I get the color that I wanted, and I stopped there. Mm -hmm. And I was doing my research, so I knew the product I was using, the way it works. So if you wanted to, you could both get lighter than you yes. are right mm -hmm. now. Yeah. Okay. And talk to me about maintaining this fair skin. Because, mm -hmm. you know, on the streets they say that, eh, kumele rangi ya thaw, eh? Mm -hmm. And that one, it's high maintenance. So for you guys, mm -hmm. that is a literal statement. Yeah. So how much do you spend on your skin, Amy? Well, that depends because... If you, if you get to look good, you have to be ready to spend money. Like, you have to be ready to scrub your body once in a while, you know, do all that. So for me, I, I usually use cream, and how fair I want to become, what was your question again? So how much does it cost you to maintain that skin? Per month or per year? Let's start with per month. About 10,000. So you're spending approximately 120,000 Kenyan shillings? Yeah. on skin products, just to make sure that you maintain that complexion. That's correct. What about for you, Esther? The same. Between the same. 10 and 12,000. Okay. Mm. So do you ever worry that if you could not perhaps then afford, afford it, you would go back to your original color? Yes, it's a choice, actually. Because if today I decided to go back to my normal skin, I just stop using my products and I'll go back. On the other hand, um, I always make sure I never run dry. Before I get to half of my, my cream, I make sure I already have the next bottle. Or if I have the funds, I make sure I buy plenty and plenty, like for six months, to just be safe. So this is commitment. It's yes. Commitment. It like is. It's, it's a proper regimen. You right. cannot yeah. just do this thing haphazardly. No. And yeah. beauty, and beauty is expensive. Too. You have to be ready for it. And um, another thing, with the cream, you have to be consistent. If you want good results, you have to be consistent. Consistent. You cannot apply this week. Tomorrow, uh, after two days, you're not. Or you've decided two months later, you're not. No. You have to be consistent. And Esther, probably tell me, because you say that part of what prompted you is because you had a deep belief that light-skinned girls are considered more beautiful. Yeah. So you went and you bought yourself that lightness. Yes. And now, do you get that reaction that you craved for when you walk into a room? Yeah, let me say this. Eh? Um, 
I didn't know it would be a blessing to me because I, when I did the, the, the color change, eventually it became like a business to me because most of the people were asking, what did you use? You look really good, I want this. So I didn't know most of the people they were looking for this color. Yeah. So to me, uh, what was the question? You're saying that it became a, it now yeah, became a business. It became a business to me. So for me, it's a blessing. Changing my color is a blessing to me. So you've been able now to create a business that a business. you earn from. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then now in the context of in the romantic department. Yeah. So what changes have you experienced there? Uh, I must say it is different from when I was dark. In what way? Um, you get guys, you know, oh, as women, eh? You like when <laughs> guys like, are... I know what she's talking about. <laughs> <laughs> you get more attention. Yeah, more attention. From, from yeah. the opposite sex. Mm. In fact, even from females, from our fellow women, they, they talk to you, they're like, wow, your skin is flawless. I, I mean, I want to look like you. But most of them are still scared to come out. You know, they're still wondering, what will people say? What will my mother say? What will my, th my colleagues think, you know? But for the people who actually want this, they approach, like me, I have, I've made business like Esther here. I've, I've actually been selling this thing to the people who are interested in it. So anytime I travel, I make sure I bring an extra one or two bottles for the people who want this. So what did people say for you, Esther? Uh, when, what people say for you? Now, once you became lighter yeah, skin, yeah. Did, were there people who perhaps judged you? Yes, of course. Like my relatives, like my brothers, they were complaining. I don't know, you are going to bring this disease. You are going to have kidney failure, such things. But it has never happened because I used a safe product. Yeah. Okay, thank you, ladies. So I want to open it up to the audience. Who has questions for the two ladies? Okay, that's one question. Anyone else? Any questions for the two ladies? Okay, let's take the question there. Okay, my question goes to Esther. Maybe uh, she's talking of, uh, uh, she had a friend who she was looking like unto. And so after then is when she decided to go to, to the product. So I'm, I'm asking, don't you think that is a peer pressure? Because <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of peer pressure and influence. Yeah, simply because your friend has a lighter skin, and uh, you say, <laughs> and then you say, I, I want to become like this man or like this lady. Okay, I want to say it's a peer pressure. Um, what made me think of changing my color is because whenever I walked with her, everybody was admiring her. So I thought maybe I can even change my color so that we can, we can be working together and maybe people admire me the same, the same way she was admired. And probably Esther, I'm curious, do you have any children? Yes. Any girls? Yeah, I have. Are Aga. they your original color or are they lighter skin? They are my original color. So how do you explain it to your daughter when she's now looking at mommy and she's like, okay, I'm this color, but mommy is mm -hmm. like, her color is now more beautiful than my color. Has that come up? Yeah. And I told her the truth. Yeah. So what did your daughter ask you? Um, Mom, how comes you? You light skinned. A bit louder, dark. so I can't hear. How comes you are light, light skinned and I'm dark skinned? I told her I changed my color, my skin color. And how old is your daughter? Seven years. So how did she was she able to understand that you had now taken the choice to lighten your skin? Yeah. So is she is it something that now you can see she will do when she's older? She when she do, she can do it. Yeah, it's her choice. When it comes to your color, it's your choice. Like Please speak up, we can't hear you. When it comes to color, it is your choice. If she chooses to, to if, he, if my daughter chooses to be light skin, she can change her color. Mm -hmm. I have no problem with that. Okay. So remember that you can always jump on that hashtag Real Talk with Tamima. Let me know. Is beauty skin deep? Do you, like Emmy and Esther, believe that? It's your choice. If you want to become light, if they want to become fairer at the end of the day, they are the ones who are walking around in that skin, so nobody should judge them. And as well, let me know by the hashtag Real Talk with Tamima. We'll be right back after this break.
Nikazi ni mara ile uwe na fura Nambe nini sijafanya mpenzi wangu bebe Kama nyumba mama kama gari nikutembeshe dunia muzima ile uwe ale bebeleza mapenzi pole pole Wakitanda pole po mshikane wawili mama mama e Lelo lelo mwasi kitoko ukina wapi mama sala to yo zonga e bebe bebe nanga ye mama anga e mama mama na mote mama 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 kitoko Nazi, mwasi kitoko. Nazi, mwasi kitoko. I am beautiful. Absolutely. Black is beautiful. Right, welcome back to the show. So our conversation on skin bleaching continues. And I'm just talking to my guests who are sharing why they choose to actually practice skin lightening. So joining me right now, I have Zeget Delonge. Delonge. Delonge, yes. We are in Congo, guys, right now. And then I also have Madule Barsa. So you're both musicians. And today, in the context of what we are discussing, mekuja kunyeleza kana kwamba nyinyi munajipaka, even though Swahili wanasema. So pengine nikiuliza, tungianza na we Zeget. Yeah. So umekua ukitumia ile mafuta ya kubadilisha skin kwa mudamgani? Say, I think 12 years. For 12 years? Yeah. Na nini ambayo ilikufanya wanze kutumia? Kwetu Kongo ni kawaida, ni kama culture. That is normal. Yeah. So, sasa kama we ni kikuangalia hivi, hii kala ukonayo, si kala yako ili original? Apana. Hii meongeza. Hii meongeza. Hii mekua mwaupe. So, ili kala original ni kama gani? Yeah. What was your original kala? Were you dark? Mi si juu. Hii meenda. Si juu. Uh -huh. But sio sana lakini nimeongeza. Kwetu Kongo ni normal. Yaani hiyo makampuni ya mafuta, maduka, tuko nayo ma original kabisa. So ni normal. Yaani ukifikisha tu 14 years umeshaanza. Mhm. Uh -huh. Na Madule yeah. pia ulianza miaka 14. Mimi nilianza pamoja na nikiwa ni, nikianza music. Hapo ndio nilianza kuingia kwa industry ya music. Ndiyo ni kaanza hiyo kila kitu. Na music ilianza ukiwa age gani? Nikuwa mdogo sana. Eh, Uba situwa miwani ndo tuwani ya uso tuwani. Yes, wewe. Iyo rangi yeah. mebadilika aji. Ay, jabadilika sana. But, ni mepaka mafuta. Iyo ni kitu kawaida. So, mkiwa kule Kongo mwaname kupaka si jambo kubwa. Si mwanaume si kila mtu. Kila mtu, kila mtu wanapaka. Kila, yeah. Wa mama, wa baba, yes, wa toto, wa mjana. Yeah. Eh, I saka... think for 95%. Yeah. Na sasa hii kupaka, huu natumia nini? Ya, ya. Wakati nikuwa Kongo mwa nikuwa huku. Popote tu, ni nini ya bacho unapaka? Dunia mzima miya tumianga tumafute na ito nga Carolite. Ya. Sa hile ndo unapaka, ukiwa Kongo na ukiwa Kenya? Sa, inatoka kuwetu. Si ya Kenya ama East Africa, what? No, inatoka kuwetu. Na hile ndo inasaidia? Ya, hiko tafauti sana na ya East Africa. Nini, ya East Africa inashida gani? Hiko nashida, first, siyo original. Napata? So, kutoka kuwetu, hiyo chemical meweka hapa, unikikupatia sa hii vile weo ni mwasi kitoko. Kwisha. Na nimi ni mrembo. Kwisha. Ya mrembo saita zidi. Na pengine wese sa zeget, ni gani unatumia? Extra clear. Unajua yo jina? Extra clear. Ah, misi jui, Mr. Mbui, mini brown skin girl. It's okay. But ime kwambe yo jina inaitwa yu. Na sasa nikiangalia kisa, pengine sasa kwako, nikiangalia mwili na uso, naona kwamba uso imebadilika rangi kidogo. Yani, nikipata tu jua. Ya ni lazimi kwetu hivyo. Na hiyo ni shida? Sio shida, ni mezoea. Mezoea. Hata hapa jua kidogo, kwetu kongo jua ni mingi sana. Ya. So sasa kama hivyo umetoka kwa jua, ndo rangi kabadilika. Ya, ya. Na hiyo kwenelea kupaka, hile unajua kukwa mba wanasema ina madhara. Ineza kupa kansa, ineza kupa shida na liver, shida na kidney. So mbona badu unendelea kutumia? Hapa kwenu inakuwa nga hivyo? Yani unatombia hii product ya Kongo, haina hiyo madhara. Yani mnayamini mnafuna. Hakuna kitu kama hiyo. Kapsa. Yani nimekwambia ni kawaida, ni kama culture. Na pengine tukiongea sa hivi, hivi kuhusu wanawake. So wanawake wakikuona kama sasa hivi tumuangalie madule. 
na hiyo rangi wanasema rangi ya thaa wanapenda hiyo kala ba hapo kwa kupenda inategemea na mtu anayoniona mbona tu mimi ni artist niko kwa stage kitu ya kwanza lazima ni kwa smart ni kwa narembesha na talent yangu lazima ni prove boss hiyo kupenda niliwaachia niliwaachia yeah. na pengine mkiwa pale na ndugu zenyu wa Kenya kuna mm. ambao wanashangaa mbona mnajipaka kama wanaume ya kweli wa Kenya sana sana wanashangaa sana hata pale tuna perform unaona fana na kuja kuangalia hivi yeye anakuangalia kama kuoni anakuangalia so hiyo kitu tumezoea nao yeah. na pengine sasa hivi nikiwauliza nyinyi sasa kwa wanawake because mliwaona pale Emmy na Esther yeah. So in your personal opinion as men mnaamini kwamba mwanamke akiwa sasa ile rangi light skin yani yeye ni mrembo kushinda ule mwanamke wa ngozi nyeusi hapo hatujasema hivyo lakini wewe mwenyewe ukiweka wale masisi yetu umesema na mablaki utaona tu wanaonekana sana hata kwa kikongo kupata mwanamke mblind skin ngumu sana black ngumu kwa yani, kikongo so, unaona tu siati siati ni warembo unaona tu hiyo kala uko nayo yani yani akiweka tu vile ameva wale wanataka tu smart sana wanatangulia kwa sababu wanaonekana mbele yani unamwona kwanza kabla uone ule mwingine wewe mwenyewe umeona yani utaweza kaa na yeye ata uzime ta kwa kwa, kwa usiku utamuona yani nyumba ina mama okay so let me hear from our studio audience i want to find out who would actually now having listened to everything that has been shared and knowing what you know around the hazards uh, of skin lightening and skin bleaching who would actually say you know what this is something that i would definitely do or well, let's hear from you oh mimi ningependa sana ku change my skin color kwa sababu kwanza nishaijaribu when i was in form 2 nilijaribu cause my mom was applying kuna mafuta alikuwa anapaka but somehow alikuwa na feature So kuna siku ilibidi nizitafute na nikapata. So nilikuwa naiba na feature na paka chini ya maji. So akakuja akajua. Akanamba eh hey, ni hivi na hivi mbona umechange? Unaka be different. Nikamwambia ni kusoma sana. So so hakujua. But shule nilikuwa naingiliwa sana na walimu. Naambiwa ah kale yako ni pose change nini? Wakiniuliza nasema napaka Vaseline. Siku ndaka kujulikana sana. So niko na eh nikijiangalia kwa kio siku niliamua nifanye hivi mkono na uso. Kufanya hivi nilijichukia ki. Cuz niliona mkono ni different, face yangu kala ni different. Ikabidi ni quit. But kama nikipata pesa tu mzuri hivi, mimi naingia kwa hiyo kala vizuri. Yaani hiyo 10,000 a month ha? ukiangukia tu. Nikiangukia na kwa tu saa Joana Kapoa akiwa anavutia na smart sana. Okay, so let me hear who would not because more, more people When I asked who would you're the only one who raised your hand so who would not even consider it show of hands okay so let me hear from you wait who would not consider it because if one person is considering it all of you would not consider it correct so can I see all your hands up who would not consider it so that's pretty much everyone so let's hear from some of you um, I wouldn't consider doing that because um, i think it's a psychological issue like you don't ha- you're not confident with yourself um i was raised being confident so i love my skin color um, my parents are dark my siblings are dark so like everyone is dark like and they love themselves like when you wake up in the morning then your mom is like you look nice today you're beautiful so you're like yeah i'm beautiful so i know i'm beautiful i wouldn't change that for anything okay let me hear from you emmy because she's now putting forward that the reason why You've changed your skin color is because you don't you did not love yourself. Yeah, so you are not confident enough then. Do you think that's true? No, that's not correct because changing your skin color it doesn't mean that you're not beautiful. It doesn't for me, it was not because I was more confident. It's the same way I wear makeup. It's to enhance my beauty. So it's not for everyone. Skin lightening is not for everyone and we and we need to appreciate that. So the, for the people who don't want to skin lighten it's very much okay but we we need not to bring down the people who who are doing it yeah okay let's hear from somebody else personally me singependa kubadilisha rangi manake ni vizuri uwe natural jeans ulivyo manake hata ukiona kina kodhe wako pale na wako na pesa ha baada anavutia baada anavutia So umejua hii ni kama pia pia pressure. 
Ndio unakuta kama kuna wale ambao wakiona rafiki zao wanasema ah wacha nikue kama nani. Lakini unajisahau we mwenyewe. Bado kama we ni mrembo we ni mrembo. Naam. So pengine Zeget na Madule. Unaona kama nyinyi pengine mmetumbukia mume, katika ile peer pressure. Because umesema Kongo watu wanafanya lakini hapa Kenya si kila mtu anafanya. So bado sasa, lakini bado um, mnaendelea. Sasa mimi ni mkongoni. Kwenu mnakuanga hivi. Nikaje nikuuliza vizuri. Yes. Lakini mnaona just because kila mtu anafanya ndio unafanya. Sio si ni no, peer pressure. No, si sababu mm. nimeona kwa mtu ama nimefuata mtu. No. So sababu gani? Sababu kwetu iko hivyo. Yaani unielewa sasa hivi ni kati. Zege sorry, nikuulize swali. Uh, unaweza kucha sasa hivi mtakwambia kwa nini ulianza kukula sukuma? Jibu tu tafadhali. <laughs> Nikuulize kwa nini ulianza kukula sukuma? Utaniambia. So yaani unasema mm. hata ikiwa acha acha, acha pengine nisitumie kukula sukuma. Yes. So just because mtu anafanya kitu yeah. na pengine ambacho anafanya si kitu kizuri, just because mnafanya kila mtu afanye. Lakini si lazima. Acha nikwambia kama sio mzuri, mimi ni binadamu. Kama kitu sio mzuri na mimi Yaani hiyo nitaweka kando. <laughs> nitaweka kando. Na pengine tukimwangalia pale the gate. Mm. Because watu wengi pengine wangesema eh the gate basi tulia kwa sababu ile ukisema unaenda kwa jua yeah skin iko too sensitive. So mbona basi hauachi? Siwezi. <laughs> yaani yeah, nimezoea yeah, yeah, nimezaliwa hivyo. Kwetu Kongo tuko hivyo. Yaani mafuta inatoka Kinshasa inatumwa mimi napaka. Unaendelea tu. I'm good. Yes. <laughs> Mafuta ya kwetu si lazima. Yaani nibadilishe rangi hapana. Lakini kupaka mafuta ni lazima. lazima. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me hear from someone else in the audience. Ah, uh, wacha niongee Kiswahili. <clears throat> Nadhani hili ni swala la kisaikolojia kama mwenzangu vile amesema. Maana wale players in the beauty industry, cosmetic industries, ili wauze mafuta yao na watu weusi ni wengi wakaleta hiyo ya mtu ajichukia kuona black skin sio nzuri kwa hivyo wakaleta hiyo na watu wakiona kwamba wako in confidence ndi waweze kunua mafuta yao so hiyo ni psychological warfare alafu jambo la pili ni kwamba mtu hajiamini ile self confidence ya kwamba mimi vile niko ninajitoshelesha vile nimeumbwa sasa anafikiria kwamba nikiongeza kitu fulani i'll have that confidence kwa hivyo ni psychological warfare ambayo tunaita inferiority complex na unajua hii ni vita ambayo imepigwa miaka mingi ya kwamba anything black is ugly black book ukikosea okay, unaikwa black list you are black listed haya <laughs> <laughs> kama mtu amekufa mnapeleke na 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 gari ya imepaka kwa nyeusi yeah. watu wanavangwa nyeusi black sunday black monday so black has been demon a shetani pia naitwa ni nyeusi so ikaingia kwa watu wa afrika wetu lakini pia inaingia kwa akili ya wa afrika ambao hawajasoma sana au katika zile inchi ambayo watu hawaja soma sana so ikawaingia so inawapatia what we call a, a false sense of security ya kwamba sasa now i am beautiful but what they need to know mzungu anatoka huko kwao and spends a lot of money to come to the tropical africa na anaingia kwa beach pale mpaka anatembea uchi apigwe na jua kali wiki mbili wiki moja at least mwili wake fanya nini iwe at least a bit darker na ukiangalia mzungu kabisa majority of the Europeans or Americans those white who marry African they go for a typical typical dark skinned <laughs> the reason being kwa sababu they know the value the pigments the value of the black skin ambao sisi atfanye nini hatujui because of the cosmetic industry so it's a pressure ni vile tu those who manufacture um, war, uh, weapons make war mongering and fund some um, uh, war activities so that they can sell weapons it is the same thing but the truth of the matter ya kwamba black skin however you are let me put this way nilipona huyo dada yetu pale ile picha alikuwa amepiga kwa ofisi akiwa na ile nguo ya blue she was more beautiful than e ambao sasa ameji bleach and i think if you ask the men here they will vote if you say vote if they were identical twins useme pick one i think most of us including me i would have picked the black one so, so let me ask wait, 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 wait. so let me ask who would pick and let's get that picture of amy back on the screen let's get that picture just just to do, let's just do this poll right now 
and have this discussion. Who? Uh huh. There is Emmy before. That I'll date this Amy. one. Uh, okay, okay, we are coming. So I'll date the other one. So we have Emmy. <laughs> A, A this. is on the left and B is on the right. A. So who says Emmy A is more beautiful? A. A. That's literally almost the full house. Who says Emmy B is more beautiful? Emmy, your hand should be going up. <laughs> okay, okay. So, and that is the conversation that we are having. Because what we are talking about here, and I love that you raised it, it's colorism in its best, in its best form. You guys know Lupita? Yes, yes. Do you yeah. know about the wonderful book that she's just launched? Yeah. What is the book called? Sulwe. Sulwe. Exactly. And you know what the book addresses? Color. Because we are living in a society whereby, for the longest time, and even myself, I'll use, let me use myself as an example, because in my family, I'm the darkest. Everyone else is literally lighter than, than Amy is. So growing up, I would get the remarks that, oh, you know, ah, this one is not as pretty, she's not as dark. But at the same time, I, I, I had internal strength because I recognized that I'm still me, whether I'm black or I'm white. Are you understanding whether I'm black or I'm light-skinned? So I kind of feel like the conversation we are having here is, at the end of the day, everyone can make a choice for themselves, but we have to be responsible on this platform because there are risks involved with the choices that you all are making. Yeah. Yes. So it's not something that everybody should fall into. And he does raise a valid point whereby if you reflect internally, why choose to invest 10,000 Kenya shillings or, you know, it's a personal choice, it's okay. but at the end of the day, we must also be responsible because we want to raise our children, and I believe I have a lot of young viewers who are watching, beautiful brown skin, you know, ebony skinned babies who are watching, and they need to know that just the way they came, they are beautiful. So, and I love that each of you still maintain that black is beautiful. Nobody here has said that dark skinned is not beautiful. <laughs> Sinyo watu wazima, nikijiweza na zafanya anything. So siati muta ni siku mama ni kuwako nyuma yangu, adma ni copy formula fulani ya mutu fulani, no, 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 no. Mini mwa Afrika, hata nikijibleach na mna gansu, yuzi fanana na nani na nani kwa wazungu. So kitu ingida na zawajibu mzee vila mengea, ameongea vizuri, na bro yangu waliongea pale. Unajua, kama wani beautiful ni beautiful. Ukiwa suji kala nini, kala nini, beautiful. Ya, vitu zote mbaya sahi, inakuanga hapa. Shetani, vile mzame semo, shetani ni mwusi, chujui nini black list, list, ya, yeah. kwa sababu tulidanganywa. Yes, tulidanganywa. Sisi ndi watu wa kwanza, tunafuwa kuwa hapa, na tumeoka hivi, saa tutadu. So, lazima we mwenye, sasa, join that struggle. Tell them that yeah, black is beautiful. Ile life yangu, kwanza, tulidanganywa, ya, ilo tulidanganywa, kwanza kuambia, ah, we unakaa giza hapa, na sikuoni vizuri, ebu tokeo kwa mwangaza hivi, but why is that a bad thing? Yes. 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 Oh, now remember that you can join the conversation by the hashtag Real Talk with Tamima. Let me know what your views on this topic, skin bleaching. As you can see that at the end of the day, everyone has a choice. And I'll repeat that. Everyone has a choice. But still, there is an element of responsibility, and especially on this platform, whereby even I, as the facilitator, as the moderator, I must emphasize that black is beautiful. And I must emphasize, especially to us parents, we must teach our children that black is beautiful and be unapologetic about that message. Well, right now it's time for a very quick break. We'll be right back. wasichana walamu heri zile sura zao ni mzuri kuliko mkorogo wana change mkorogo ukimwangalia msichana wa sasa anakuwa kama mbwa lasi ama mbwa wa peponi amebadilika sura zile zake maumbile anaharibu anakuja na mambo ambayo tofauti kuliko mambo yake na si vizuri siku hizi wanawake kuwa namna kama hiyo kutia mikorogo kuitia mambo ya kala madawa anatia mato ya kizungu na mato yake ni natural pia ni kama kuji Tolea manani yeye. Yeye kiwa ni kweli ni mpasi anajipamba, anajiseti, 
Ah, anavaa kanzu ya arama, pesa nyingi, cheni, mapete. Ah, si wati kwamba anakonda kuitia mkorogo, baada yeye ni mweusi akawa mweupe. Haina maana. Kabisa natural. Unatoka nature kama wewe Highland, ni mzuri hivi hivi kuona hujatiwa chochote. Sisi kama utafeshwa sugar utakuwa mzuri zaidi. Kwisha amemaliza. Kuanzia utoto wangu yani nimelelewa hapa lamu. Na vile tunakaa kuna wasichana walikuwa marafiki zangu hivi. Wameanza kujibridge na ninaona madhara yake wengine wamechibuka chibuka wengine wana sura kama tatu tatu. Huwezi kujua kama ile nini me affect kivipi yani hata nisielewi. Na tukiwaambia waacha wanaambiwa tumia kemiko fulani tumia kemiko fulani bado wanaendelea ku kuharibika sura hata na nashindo vile yani niwasaidie vipi mara mtu ametoka vinusi 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 hata uwezi kujua ni hakuzaliwa hivyo lakini ameharibika kwa sababu ya kujipaka huyo ukorogo Right, so we continue our conversation on skin bleaching. And right now, I just want to interact with my co-host because when you hear people making statements that lighter people are more beautiful, lighter people are more appreciated or celebrated in the society, like I always say on this platform, society is you and I. So we have to question what is it about our own internal beliefs that pushes us to actually treat people who are white, lighter skinned, better than people who are necessarily darker skinned. So right now I have two young women. I have Claudia and Anne. So they're both models right now. And I'm just going to be trying to find out from each of them because they are considered to be brown skinned girls. So let me start with you, Claudia, because you're a melanin model. That's what you go by. And you're Sudanese. Yeah. That's, that's your descent. So probably tell me, what was it like growing up for you? Okay, for me it was challenging because like most of the people, most of my friends were like a bit lighter. So they will tell you like, you know, just, just lighten up your skin a bit so you can look prettier and stuff. But then like for me, I believed in myself and I was like, why, why do you want me to to bleach myself yet I look beautiful in the way I am? Because this is how God created me and this is how I should look. Yeah. And your statement is interesting because you did not get this sort of feeling of I'm less than from your family, but you got it from your friends and those around you. Yeah. So how did your family address the issue of being ebony? Uh, my family, they felt like I was beautiful. Each and every time they would tell me you look beautiful, you don't have to change anything about you. Yeah, that is what they believe. Was that the same experience for you, Anne? For me, I had a normal childhood. I didn't. I was not discriminated because of my skin color. Yes, so it was normal for me. So today, as a model, do you feel like light-skinned model have more opportunities than brown-skinned or darker-skinned girls? It has been kind in the industry uh, where light-skinned models are more preferred. When we're going for a show, you hear, "Oh, we want." Asian models, we want white models and the like. Yeah, so dark skin models are rarely considered, but when they're considered, it turns out great. So why do you think that the industry, so to speak, prefers lighter skinned girls? Well, let's hear from you, Claudia. I think because they think like when you're light skin, you look more prettier, of which I, I don't think it's, it's right for you to to think like, because just because these uh, other girls are light and the others are dark, uh, they're not pretty. Everyone is pretty in their own way, so you should just appreciate everyone the way they are. Yeah. So, and let me ask the gentlemen in the room, because when you talk about skin color, men actually are very keen in this conversation, because when a woman, and Esther <laughs> said this, she said that she would be with her friend and her friend who was lighter would get the attention. So men would think that the friend was more beautiful. And for her, once she became lighter, she got that attention. So let me ask the room and just the guys, do you prefer light-skinned girls 
or ebony girls. Light-skinned girls, who, who thinks light-skinned girls are more beautiful? Who thinks ebony-skinned girls are more beautiful? <laughs> or who's, okay, so that's pretty much everyone. So if Amy winked at you, none of you would look her way. Amy, I keep funny every match. Okay, so so that's that's the, in the context of this conversation, there are two ladies who've actually said that they are considering lightening their skin. I want to hear from the two of you. Where you raise your hands? Let's hear from you two. Okay, personally, I would go for bleaching because I think Emily and Esther look so good and brown skin, the, yeah, the yellow skin looks good, and yeah. So I don't look good? You look good, <laughs> but, but look this one looks so good, attractive. <laughs> they look looks, better yeah, because they're lighter better. skin, yeah. in your opinion? Yeah. Okay, let me hear from you as well. According to me, I don't want to be brown. As in, I don't want to be brown. For real, they look good. So okay. what is looking good? Is looking good being like They look kids. pretty. So anyone in this room like myself, we are not pretty? No, according to the, to the pics. Uh -huh. For real, ni monezo pics. Izo zenye zakitambo na sai. Izo zakitambo wazikuwa zinakaa rembo. But sai wanakaa poa kuliko vinyolikuwa. So they are divas anyway. So you want to be a diva? Of course. <laughs> OK. So who else agrees with her they want to be a diva? Show of hands, let's be honest, guys. Nanim Gidia like, I want to be a diva. <laughs> let's hear from the two divas. Uh, pass the mic to the lady with the bandana. Let's hear from you. OK, let's take, for instance, Miss Universe Kenya. Um, first runners up was Ru Baby. And the first one, I can't remember the name. But um, looking at the two, the one who became number one was lighter. So it means that even the people that are judging us, even in the beauty industry or everywhere, prefer light-skinned girls prefer comparing to dark-skinned girls. Because I, I believe that if Rubebi was light-skinned, she would be number one. Yeah, that's it. Because if I was dark, I would prefer lightening my skin. Because if lighter skin can give me money, can give me a good job, can give me a car, why not be light? Okay, the lady, the lady on top. Okay, so for me, I don't see anything wrong with the way anyone was created. Okay, the more what one and like bleach, to not see what I like the same comple complexion and stuff. Actually, I like to say the light skin ladies, to pack the same makeup, to not come to moja. But Mukiangalia, like there was a certain creativity Mungu alikuwa nayo. I can make people like see see what a black kabisa, although seeing ebony girls, kuna like shades different than any pretty than yes and una glow too poor. So you should make like the right choices before you decide to go and uh, bleach your skin, make sure na kumbuka that at the end of the day, yes, when I fanya say to get attention. And uh, honestly, your attention is quite enough, trust me. And at the end of the day, there are consequences. You can escape from but let's say uki age, like there will be all on you where you are, and you'll have to struggle with them. So make the right decisions. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. But okay, for now, you can do what makes you happy. I'd like to hear from... Amy and Esther, very quickly as you wrap up, because she's raised a very valid question. Have you thought ahead for when you're older? Yeah, I've thought about it, because whatever I'm using, you, the price can tell you, is something which is safe for me. Okay, I've also thought about it, and the products I'm using, besides the cream, because I'm using cream and glutathione, glutathione tends to take longer. Like, it has a longer lifespan because it's very expensive it's very it has very natural products it's made out of natural things so the reason why i'm doing both is because glutathione takes a longer period of time before it shows the results but it has a more effective outcome like for example if i'm using glutathione 
I have been using glutathione for five years, and I stopped using glutathione for a whole year, my color will still retain, remain as it is currently because the product, the, the fact that it takes longer to process or to change your skin color, it means it also takes longer before it starts fading off because it's more of natural, um, com it has more, it's made out of natural things. <laughs> so it won't have any effects on your skin when you're older? No. Okay. And finally, let's hear from Steve Owoko as we close the shop. I just want to say that we know that everything has side effects, even too much sugar, red meat, and even the medicine. So I think once we subject our skin with the foreign objects, which are not meant for them in the first place and not for medicinal purposes, however long, small, in the long run, I believe there are going to be some effects. And the truth be told, between the more the, the heavily light skinned women tend to age faster when they're in their forties plus than a bit dark or black ebony girl. So at the end of the day, when you are 40, 50, you look more older. So that's, that's some they, of the side that's effects. That's why they say black don't crack. See, you're black don't? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then in the long run, when you are 70, 80, there's a high possibility that your body will react to the many chemicals that you put in because of your skin, however long it takes. It's a long term, a long term effect. Thank you. Right. So obviously this is a very wide topic and again, every individual has a choice. You can make a choice. Emmy, Esther, Zeget, Madule, they made their own choices. But at the same time, as a society, we owe it to ourselves. We must embrace our blackness so that our children, when they look around, when they are looking at who are their role models, their role models look like them. And that is the responsibility of us, the, more, the ones who are adults in this society, those of us who are in media, we must cast girls who are dark-skinned. And I really love if we have our very own Lupita who is being celebrated on such an international stage because it shows that this is a conversation that has been long overdue. And even th for those of us who are in Africa, this is not something that we are separate from because in our own ways, we, stu we still have some, we still perpetuate colorism. And it really starts with you. And when someone says society made me feel like the light-skinned girl is more beautiful, who is society? It is you and I. Well, that's it from me, Tamima. Until next time, enjoy the rest of your viewing. Special thanks to E-Plus for medic and ambulance services.